Na 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 How you gon' ask your friend to introduce you? How you gon' talk to me like I'm your baby, I'm your new boo? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to show how I bleached the knots on my new wig that was sent to me. Here she is. And I bleached and everything myself, but this the whole install will be a different video this video i wanted to show how i bleached the knots and how i um bleached the hair and how i sewed on my elastic band my elastic band did come with the wig but you can get them from um any craft store any beauty supply store so it was a lot longer than this but of course i cut it to put on this wig and i'll be inserting a clip of me actually you know sewing it on that wig but since i am trying to lay down the edges and everything on that wig i'm going to use one of my older wigs as a demonstration once you get your elastic band i will say i do like the thicker bands they do have a um they do have smaller bands but the thicker ones to me just in my mind kind of make it feel like it's a little bit more secure but i mean to each his own you can do whatever you want i just measured from ear when i first did this you will see in the video i messed up like three times and i'm recording this video because i cannot find an example that was actually like helpful enough like as far as verbally explaining it i'm gonna try my best to explain it the way i would have wanted it to be explained and why is my sleeves rolled up honey Ugh. All right, so act like this band is a lot longer. So in this video you're watching, this is when I messed up. I actually, um, I measured it from right here. So basically it was gonna go, this isn't long enough, but it was gonna start like right here and then go around. Messed that up, had to take it down, and sewed it down and everything. So the correct way to do it, I measured from behind my ears. It is about right here. For measurement you can see that let me take off my wrap so you can see a little better I'm going to warn you it is going to be some jacked up gel braids up under here honey back okay so the thing is as far as you pull it your wig is going to retract back so if you pull it out too much and then try to sew it on that way it is going to stretch the wig back but it's not going to stretch it back you know enough to actually hold it down to make a glueless wig mistake one that i made that you shouldn't make i couldn't figure out how to actually like sew it on here so the band wouldn't be like flipped on me like this in the back or so like if it's sewn on like this i had to flip it but then it'll be pulling the wrong way anyway so see how that's pointing that way i sewed it on that way so then it could flip over like that and then i did the other side on this clip and i flipped the band over myself and did it that way so when you put it on it flips which it did flip but this isn't the correct way to sew it so your wig is like this it's kind of in a well it is a circle so your band is going to go on just like that in a circle so instead of it going matching the actual clip horizontally you're going to sew it on vertically so it can go up and down so just kind of measure where your ear is and your um clip is on this other wig that i actually sewed it on it was different than this so i kind of just did it in the middle and I had a lot more room. See, this band is too big for this. So I would need a smaller band to actually sew this on. But do it vertically and place it to where you measured your ear. And then you're going to sew it on like that. And then once it's sewed on vertically, you're going to take this other side and then just kind of do like a smile. And then you're going to sew that on also that is how you do it people okay, so since i'm just bleaching my knots i didn't have any bleach left over so i just went to my local beauty supply store and bought um a pack of bw2 bleach uh this is my favorite kind of bleach you can use any bleach you want but i just particularly like the brand bw2 and in my local beauty supply store you see it is 249 so this should be enough just for bleaching your knots i am doing a closure so this will be more than enough 
and my old local beauty supply store that I used to shop at when I lived in a different town, they had this little um, dyeing and applicator brush and bow set and it was only five dollars the black one didn't come with it but yeah maybe your beauty supply store have it also so you can buy everything in a pack they got the applicator bowl i had bought this for a dollar separately and it also came with two combs rat tail comb and a regular whatever comb these i feel like will break because they are just plastic but really cool just to have and this kit came with three different size applicator brushes you will see that i used this brand also for my developer this was $2.99 if you are wondering Ooh. let's try that again i'm just going to mix it up might have put a little bit too much liquid and that's bad you don't want it to be liquidy at all you definitely want it to be a paste so um yeah kind of fucked mine up i'm gonna sit for about 30 about 30 35 minutes y'all wanted to pop in and show y'all these curls they are popping once you add water and some of that foam and wrap lotion also with the bleaching process i'm going to link my other video down below um dying it the exact same way just making sure to coat every strand of hair kind of go between it and then i always wrap it into foil since i didn't bleach the whole hair i kind of just did random strokes of bleach throughout the whole hair and uh, just you know hoped for the best right here since i did just get done washing it and i wanted to do this whole bleaching process in one sitting i did go ahead and blow dry it you do not bleach hair while it is wet i repeat do not bleach hair while it is wet i see a lot of youtubers do that that is not good at all so like i said i am just freestyling just trying to you know use that bleach so my 249 don't go to waste okay honey <laughs>